still in Enugu State, where Governor Mba is pushing for EREG to be recognized globally. In Enugu, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism has celebrated this year's New Year Festival in a grand style. The festival, which is a celebration of life and culture of Indibu, attracted persons from all walks of life. Our correspondent, Chidima Madu, has the details. The New Year Festival in Rigi, as it is called in Igbo land, is a time of thanksgiving to God for a bountiful harvest at the end of a planting season. It is also a time where Indi will display their cultural heritage in Enugu State. Ndianugu from the 17 local governments and beyond came out en masse to celebrate the 2024 Wiriji Festival organized by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. The Enugu State Governor Peter Mba, represented by the Deputy Governor Barista Ifan Yosai, says, Indeed, the Iriji Festival needs to be made known to the world. He said the state government has made critical investment in agriculture which was initiated by Governor Mba. He encouraged farmers to take advantage of the international airports to export their farm produce. He supported the Ministry of Culture and Tourism and Ministry of Agriculture to synergize in promoting the Iriji Festival. We recognize the fact that we can't feed ourselves if we are not making the critically needed investment in agriculture. We are working on a program initiated by our governor to ensure that with a minimum of 200 hectares of land, on the average, in every electoral ward, where the newly elected council chairman will partner with our government through the Ministry of Agriculture to get farm settlements, farm clusters, where as a government, we are going to till the land for our people and allocate tilled land to them, then offer them inputs and let them tend it. We are doing everything we can to ensure that we migrate our people from subsistence agriculture to agribusiness with international airport right in the middle of Enugu state there is no way why we can't feed Europe with agrarian revolution that we are trying to embark on earlier in his keynote address Reverend Father Professor Nnam De Wankwa, who described the significance of Yam said that the festival is a source of unity for Ndibu within the country and in the Diaspora. Hence, the need for the festival to be acknowledged globally. This unification of the celebration of Iliji also our New Year festival in Igbo land will definitely create an Igbo day, which will be a more unifying factor than any agitation the Igbos have been proposing. The, the chairman in Ugo State Traditional Rulers Council, His Royal Highness Igwe Samuel Asad, thanks the organizers of the festival, says it is an opportune time for the young ones to learn about a culture. It's a special day in the, in the history of Ugo State. It's next year, I can make more wonderful habits. I can make more, more interest in this. How long can we to stay on this earth? Too long, too short. The world is too short. I will have to pass down the battle. I can, I can, who my guy in a, I can put that in a, 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 the Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Barrister Ugochi Madweke, appreciated everyone who made the festival great, especially the traditional rulers. Before the Iwaji ceremony, the Deputy Governor Barrister Osai requested that a one-minute silence should be observed for the late President of Ohane Zendibu, Emmanuel Iwanyawu. Engineer, Emmanuel, why are you 
The Enugu State Cultural Troop and others displayed their cultural strength. <laughs> In Enugu, Chidima Mado for Afia TV. Thank you very much, Chidima, for that report. We'll go on a very quick break. When we return, we're going to continue to have conversations around the New Year Festival. Do stay with us.